go. Welcome to the Static Show. This is uh, Bob, and I'm with the Insane Clown Posse. Hey, this is Juggalo. Yeah, I got a Juggalo here with me. He's got his Fago. He's got his mask on. Who's who's is that? I don't know. I uh, I've been finding all these Halloween masks all around the house, so I don't know what's uh, <laughs> kind of centralized on. Um, Oh, okay. You're trying to keep a hold of them so they don't get, like, chewed up by the dog or something? Yeah. <laughs> so I just had on this cat hates this thing. Oh, you're scared of the cat? Yeah, this cat is not a fan of this clown mask. <laughs> well, it's a pretty scary-looking clown mask. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Just earlier. That's kind of neat. Oh, that's lovely. You like that one. Oh, oh my gosh! Well, hey, you know, I just noticed your hair. You have very short hair. Right now. There you go. Oh, you also it, it's almost like that Rosie Greer movie because you had two heads for just a second. But uh, that was just Miles Jr. in the background there. Yeah, you got no. short. You got some short hair. I like to wear it short now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because you're old, and I get my hair cut probably that short actually i just got a really? hair, haircut yeah you know how i love yeah. to talk about my haircut experiences so you have some long ass hair i used to yeah hey uh, get the fridge door you can't leave it open there miles jr it's not like you're gonna air condition the house it's freezing outside oh no say now you have bob controlling your life i hope you're happy <laughs> Go ahead and make noise because it's just being a dick anyway. Just go ahead and okay, you know, make a decision. Oh. And uh, <laughs> what was that? Ice cream? Yeah, I just have some ice cream. Oh, all right. So yeah, there you go. That's that's more like it, Miles. The Unabomber look for Miles right there. I like I can look my Tim Robbins look from uh, War of the Worlds. I got my hoodie on. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, maybe if Tim Robbins like was a bloated corpse in the water for a year or something. <laughs> We're gonna dig tunnel. <laughs> yeah, you look like yeah Tim Robbins. It's I don't know what. Been rock, by. you got it. Hard rock. <laughs> so anyway, I went to get my hair cut, and uh, you know, my hair isn't what it used to be, and uh, so. Here lately, I don't. I just don't understand how to get my hair cut. When I was younger, uh oh, he's got a pen or something. A suppository. He's holding up a suppository. Oh, I think I, I, that he got cut off here. Can you hear me, Miles? I'm pausing it here. We got we got killed. Uh, my connection got killed. You know. So we're back now. Miles is there, right, Miles? Yeah. Okay. So uh, here lately, I, when I get my hair cut, I you know I don't know what to do because my hair is just not what it used to be. I don't have much hair anymore. I used to have a lot of hair, and, and so when I would oh. go get it cut, I would just kind of say, "Yeah, long, beautiful hair, long hair, short hair." Yeah. So I used to just be able to say whatever, and it really uh, didn't, didn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. It didn't really matter what I said, you know, it would all be yeah. good in the end because it grew out and what have you. Well, now that I, I don't have all that hair, when I go get my hair cut, I have to be like more specific or else it looks like crazy. You know what I mean? I look like a you know, part cancer patient or something. Oh, and, nice. and so uh, I took my, I've been taking my wife along because I don't know what to say about getting my hair cut. So because... <laughs> Make him look, look less like a woman. Yeah, so I, uh, I'm i trying to get down this lingo because before I'd say, you know, just cut it here, cut it there, whatever. And then I usually left it long and didn't get it cut but maybe once every like three to four months. And so now I got to go more regularly than that because right. it just gets out of hand. So 
I felt like it's like regarding right. Henry. I'm I'm like <laughs> I'm like Henry. My wife's taking me in after I've you know been shot in the head, and I'm Harrison Ford character. You know, I've got to go in, and my wife's got to tell him what to do to cut my hair. It was so uh, somewhat embarrassing, I must say, and the. The ladies were all very nice and everything, but it was nice like I was a child nice, you know what I mean? So, that was a little... <laughs> I like roots. Yeah, so the lady was very good and very fast, and then she's like, uh, she gets, and this is always another problem that I've had like forever. Uh, with I don't like to get a haircut if I haven't already said that enough times on this show. But uh, she goes, do you want your you know sideburns you want to leave them long you want to shorten them up what do you want to do and i'm like uh and she goes oh you don't care do you i go no just cut them off <laughs> so i don't really have sideburns to speak of because i don't grow a lot of facial hair and so she she just made up my mind for me because i'm like ah you know don't know what to say do i want to keep this one what what's that what about your unibrow? Did you work on that at all, or no? She, I, I don't really have a unibrow per se, but I do have some wild eyebrows from time to time. But uh, they weren't too wild, and so she didn't uh, do that. But I also hate the razor, and yeah. now that I'm old, I have to. You know, they use the razor more because my hair is short. I keep it cut fairly short when I do get it cut, and uh, oh my gosh, I can't. The razor might as well just be the dentist drill. You know what I mean? Right. To me, right. it's the same thing. I guess it elicits the same kind of response in my person. So, yeah. oddly enough, I'm probably more comfortable with the dentist drill than the razor, which doesn't make any sense. But yeah. So I sat there like you know Henry and uh, got my hair cut and uh, was uh, emasculated here in front of all the ugly beauticians. So have you ever noticed that the, you go to get your hair cut and like none of them all these beauticians are like really homely you ever notice that uh i'm starting to see it more and more yeah i haven't <laughs> really i really rarely have seen one like wow would i like to knock boots with that one you yeah know? yeah no i think like, wow i'd like to get away from that one you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's right it's like oh my lord how yeah. can these people give advice to anybody even about their hair so yeah. yeah, now the, the uh, when I was uh, uh, I used to go get my hair cut like in the middle of the day at work at this one place and the the Bosnian lady the boar the Natasha lady she wasn't so bad but oh you like her <laughs> yeah no she was very nice I'm yeah. go I'm going to cut your hair you know yeah so I, although you know I have no idea if I got to get a haircut or not I I, I didn't really care whatever. You know, I was, it was always a new experiment, so. But anyway. Well, I'm getting like, into women with, like, the bad tattoos. Yeah, the lady who cut my hair today had a tattoo. I, I, I don't, it, I, she probably had more than one, but uh, one was exposed there, and it looked kind of uh, old, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, where it kind of just starts not looking misshapen or something? I don't know, so. Huh. USS Indianapolis. Huh. <laughs> That's right. I uh, all of the men went down in the water. Hey, yeah. girl came up with some shears. And... <laughs> That's right. And I went to wake up my friend, and he bobbed over, and he had no bottom. Bosun's mate, I believe in the pile. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so that was a weird uh, that was a weird thing, but that's not the weirdest thing because you know we kind of got me aging and having to deal with this uh, uh, embarrassment of uh, you know like t having your mom take you to get your hair cut. Right. But then on the other end of the spectrum, you know, I haven't been recognized in a while. Yeah. And uh, last night, somebody recognized me. Oh, okay. All so, right. So, you know, I used to say, uh, I'm famous. I just don't know why, because everybody seems to recognize me, even though I don't know who they are. So I went to uh, to get some pizza at the local Domino's. Uh -huh. And I pull up to the, uh, they have a drive through Unlike the drive through sure. in Hannibal, which is, you know, ungodly tall. <laughs> this is a normal drive through window. Um, and I pull up and he goes, uh, Lament? 
And I'm like, how the fuck did this guy know who I was? Right. And I go, I go, uh, I go, how did you know, you know, it was me? I go, is it all like, am I the only person buying pizza tonight? And he's like, no, no, no. I just recognize a few people that come through here regularly. You know, it's not, he's kind of trying to play it off. And, Stalker. Yeah, no, and I just like, that's just too weird. So I, I, I said, that kind of freaked me out a little bit, you know. And then apparently at yeah. one point in time, these guys at this Domino's, uh, if you, which I never have any cash. I'm, I don't travel with cash, you know what I mean? I'm not a cash yeah. kind of guy. I usually have my debit card or something. And so that's yeah. how I pay for my pizza. And so over the time that I've been going there, every time you go there, it's as if, you know, they have the machine. And most people, you know, probably 50% of the people like to use the, the swipey thing, right? Right. Like swiping a debit card or credit card or something. But they never have an yeah. effing pen. They're always looking around right. for the pen. They're like, oh, wait yeah. a minute. And then they're running around looking for a pen so you can sign your name for, you know, for God knows why at this point. Everybody steals your credit card anyway, so what's the point? You know, oh, Kat's got to come in here with me. And, um, and so they're always looking for a pen. So one day I was there not too long ago, and I pull up, and he's looking for the pen. And I go, here, just take mine. Okay. Now, I'm, I, I, for work, I have pens, and I give them out for to various people for various reasons, right? They're nice pens, and right. so I just gave this guy a nice pen. Yeah. And he remembered me because I gave him a nice pen. That's how he remembered me. He goes, "Oh, you gave me a pen about a month or two ago." You did. Oh, you got that big black bick. No, no. Well, I don't know if it's a Bic, but. Uh... <laughs> anyway, yeah, okay. So, go ahead. But, uh, yeah, I gave him this, uh, you know, fairly nice uh, professional style pen. And uh, that's how he remembered me, apparently. So, that's kind of the old thing, you know what I mean? The throwback, because everybody used to recognize me and say hi to me. And I didn't know, I have a clue where they came from. So, I'm famous again. Hey, pen guy! Hey, give me another pen. Give me a pen. Hey, you got a pen? That deja vu pen was awesome. That's right. Hey, when you turn it one way, she undresses. Hey. Boobies. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I got recognized. That was pretty weird. Then I go to this other pizza place where I do get recognized, but she's never, uh, the woman's never said my name because um, it's Little Caesars, you know, cheap pizza. I love that, yeah. Oh, you love the cheap pizza? We get the cheap pizza. My son loves it. And so you just go, yeah. and it's hot and ready, right? So you just walk in and get it. Hot and ready. It's like half your date says, hey, hot, yeah, and hot and ready. So, yeah. So this lady always recognizes me who works there, but I've never had to give my name. And so, therefore, you know, she doesn't call me out by name. You get a lot of this, like, cutie pie and sweetie and honey. and. Dude, I don't know about that. I I, more, that. more, I'm getting more of this when I go. That's because you're old. You look old. Hey, honey. Oh, there you go, sweetheart. Yeah. You got a poopy diaper? <laughs> you talk just like a Duke coin stripper, ma'am. A Duke coin stripper? That's right. Doom rocks. You already worked for tips? <laughs> what was that Duke coin that had the strip bar? I forget it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Duke coin, yes. Here in Ducoin, Illinois, go down to uh, I don't know if that's still there. Dumarox, I mean, I'll still be there. I don't know. Roger. Or, <laughs> I'm but sure there's something down there. They were trying to, you know, get my my son to start visiting colleges and stuff. I go, son, why don't you go down to Southern Illinois? Yeah, there you go. You know. One of my many alma maters. Well, t- <laughs> 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 yes, that's true yes yes the one i didn't get kicked out of yes uh, i was out of the three i went to i was only kicked out of one so. <laughs> all right so one of the two i didn't get kicked out of how's that yeah my cat's balling now hey. 
I mean, yeah. So is he going to go down there? Is he going to go check it out? Well, he should he, he should stay in state. Otherwise, he got to pay out of state tuition. Well, I know he's not going to go there. That's going to be a great road trip. Oh, I see. <laughs> he's 18 now. I mean, come on. What the hell, you know? I see what you're saying. You just want to go down memory lane you or something. You know I'm going. Bad, you know. Hey, hey well, you do you do have connections with the uh, city council down there, so yeah, yeah too true. Yeah, you used to know the mayor, and I think there's still a uh, council member who is uh, there that you know. So, Chris Wisman. That's right, Wisman. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. I don't know if he's a representative or a council. I can't remember what he is, but he's somebody down there now. So. The Wiss man. That's a long time. Yeah, he probably, well, he, he wouldn't recognize you at this point, but. Uh, I just make up shit. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm Web Ryan. I'm, <laughs> I'm Web Ryan. I'm Web Dude, Ryan. Bike. I'm looking for my stolen bike. Yeah, where's my bike? Somebody stole my bike. <laughs> Those motherfuckers. Uh, I'm going to jump through the McDonald's window. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you guys, high. <laughs> you guys are high. Yeah, I believe that. Uh, I, I don't don't quote me on this. You know, I think the statute of limitations is gone on this. But I believe Webb uh, Ryan jumped through a plate glass window while dressed as a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> Just say. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, down on the strip uh, in Carbondale at one point, yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I forget what the reasoning nice. was behind it, but I believe I did hear the story that he did do that. So, you know, that's something for his children. You know what I'm saying? That's just... was, You know, I don't know. I don't remember who it was, but I was around some staff members who were partaking in uh... the uh, 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 Mary. <clears throat> oh no, that was Wisman. <laughs> was that what? I don't. Well, hey, hey, I don't know, man. I don't remember. Oh, I'm almost positive that was Wisman. I think, uh, yeah, there was some radio staff though involved in on that. I believe that I could probably name everybody who was doing. That. <laughs> <laughs> you were even there. I know, but I know who they are. <laughs> I didn't know why I was there. Why was I there, man? Like, hey, man. Farley. Let's see, Farley. Uh, Ming, 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 ming. Yeah. Wisman. Uh, King Vitamin was there. King yeah. Vitamin. Venegas, King... probably. I don't know. There's only like three or four dudes there. It was a big sausage party, man. It was like yeah, three or four guys or something. Oh, King Vitamin, yes. He would have been part of that. Yes. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. They uh, yeah, they were supporting free in the herb back then. Let me tell you that right That's now. That's right. Oh, come on now. I did not partake. Oh, it. give me a break with you. I did. And I said, no, I pass on grass, but I will sit close to you guys, though. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <'Cause> you, just <laughs> for to fill them up for what? <laughs> no, for the contact high. I'm like, well, no, okay, I'm not going to you know, smoke it, but, uh, you know, I will. You know. I will sit close to you. <laughs> what, You've taken the everlessence of it all. What size are you, like a six or a seven? What are you? <laughs> Farley, can you help me get my couch in the van? Oh, God. You just back up a little bit there. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Some cat just dropped a deuce in here. Oh, <laughs> That's no cat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Quit looking at me. Quit looking at me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> it puts I the know. poop in the kitty litter. Oh, my God. I can't breathe to my <laughs> Oh, my God. Please, God. Oh, let oh. it end. God, let it end. Oh, my God. Oh. Where are you? <laughs> are you on the back porch or something? Yeah, yeah by the back porch, by the kitchen. He's in here chopping a load. <laughs> oh, it's not like uh, diarrhea. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, oh God. Very, Just very bury nice. it already. 
You need to go help him out in there, I think. That's what you need to do. Oh, my Lord. Oh, so, you, you, anything happening to you or anything? I'm seeing angels right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, well, really, just gearing up for Thanksgiving coming up, you know. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Mm. They spent some time with the fam. Well, if you want to, uh, on my ride home uh, every night, uh, I see wild turkeys on the side of the road. If you want, I'll swerve over and get one for you. I should see if uh, I can bring that little digital recorder you gave me once and just see if I can just get my family to individually record some greetings for Bob Lament. That would be, yeah, Bob's an asshole. How many times do you want to hear that? <laughs> well, she might have a new take on it. You know? <laughs> Is this for Bob? Bob's an asshole. Did I, do you remember that when I said that, Miles? Uh, I forgot. To, no, you got to be uh, Harvey, your mother's Harvey Feinstein. Oh, Bob's an asshole. Yeah, Miles, don't go there with that. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm so verklempt. Why you got high with that guy, I don't know. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Miles, I got a note. I got a note for your, your partner. He's an asshole. Thank you. Uh, he can fix my computer, though. That's right. You know about computers? <laughs> Good. <laughs> Mine's broken. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know a little bit. Elka, get down here. Come on. I'm going to chain you to this chair till you fix it. Thank you. It, put, it puts the lotion in the basket. That's right. <laughs> What? It's the lotion in the basket. It puts the lotion in the basket and gets a hose again. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. It's for the best. <laughs> I'm, I'm making, you, your ankles I'm making a it. dress. I'm making a dress. And you got a nice white ass for my dress. Thank you. What are you, a big fat person? <laughs> Large in the hips. Through me. I tried, I'm trying to make one of those Gore-Tex coats out of skin. Thank you. Oh, you will God. do nicely with your puffy body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're That's fine. what I should do. Yeah, I should just have a whole segment of people who hate you. Yeah, yeah just... that would be your sister. You call yeah. me a redneck, you son of a bitch. I'll kick you out of the asshole. Yeah, oh yeah, she did say that, you know. <laughs> my brother, well, he would like to kick your ass, I know that. Yeah, he could kick my ass. Your parents. My mom would love. Yes, your mom with her beautiful mascara, permanently inked. Yeah, I don't know, I could get like a whole line of people up, really, if I wanted to. Oh, well, hey, whatever you want to do. It's it, what, are, what are they thankful for? And they can just say... I'm thankful that... Bob's going to get the cancer. I hope. I God hope. Forbid, but... <laughs> That's right. But I really wish he would. Thank you. Hope he gets the crabs. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the shingles. I hope he gets shingles. I thought I thought he was your lover. I'm glad he's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's your sister. Yeah, I know. We were ahead of our time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your sister I... wanted to put us together. Our union, yeah. She was much. She she was very far thinking ahead of person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's forward thinking. All right. I told uh, I told my sister a long time. I was making a movie. I said I'm bringing a friend with me to help make a movie. She's like, oh, super, great, great, great. Yeah. Show up at her house and she's like, oh, oh, just one bed. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can make a love connection, folks. Yeah. We'll uh, be back in two and two. <laughs> I don't know who said no fucking way first. Was it <laughs> her? I don't. Yeah, well, and then she proceeded. Then, after that fiasco, yeah. you find out there's no lock on the bathroom. So. <laughs> we like to lock people pants. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I had to drop my deuce like sweating bullets. Somebody's going to barge in on me. <laughs> I'm walking down the subway. I'll be right back. That's right. No kidding. <laughs> Because it's a neighbor home that has a lock on their bathroom. Anybody? <laughs> is there anybody in this fucking neighborhood with a lock on their goddamn fucking bathroom? They, they still don't have a lock. <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's just no uh, running water in the sink either. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I ate a lot this weekend. And I... <laughs> it's 
a long ride back to Carbondale. Yeah, I'm this, right now. I, this is not going to work for me without the lock on the door thing. I think I like stuffed my shoe in there or something. I think I jammed it. <laughs> I think I jammed the toe of my shoe in that door, you know, trying to make it so it couldn't open. So they're very informal around. Yeah, there. something like that. Well, between uh, the 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 limit us <laughs> to sleep together, the no lock on the door, and then everybody's looking at porn in the parents' bed. <laughs> that was the trifecta of fun right there for me. Oh, that- I know my little nephew, my little nephew who was I don't even know how old he was. That very old. He's, he's showing me all these dirty websites. I what the hell? <laughs> and this was early on too. This is like early web. So armsex.com. I'm like what the. Fuck? Yeah, this is like at the you yeah, know. Look at this. Look, get away. Let me see it. Uh, yeah, that's right. What are you looking at? Kid? Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> we can't judge. Hold on, wait. Yeah, I think they had a uh, they had a actual. VHS copy of the Tommy Lee video, didn't they? Something like that. Say again, you dropped out. You oh, I said, didn't they have an actual VHS copy of the Pam Anderson Tommy Lee video? Mm, I, well, I, I don't know if they did. I didn't see it. Oh, okay. I thought they said they had that. I, that I was just like after the little kid looking at porn part then i was just like okay <laughs> i've had enough is, is wanna, there any way to me get out of here thank you i want to go back to the college right now <laughs> that's right i want to go back i want to go hang out with wisman and king vitamin <laughs> <laughs> I'm a blunt. that's right i want to relax this is too yeah, intense this is yeah, too intense for me <laughs> My sister was way ahead of her time. You know, she was that and the fact that she wore galoshes all the time. That was the other thing that really bothered me. I don't think she wore galoshes. The whole time I was there, she was wearing galoshes. <laughs> I don't know if this was like, you know, so she could walk through blood or what. I don't understand. Fraction. Yeah. And they were never like buckled. Oh my they God. were like the really old kind of galoshes, and she never buckled them up, and so it was very scary. It's a house where you could show up and nothing would be going on, and you'd be completely entertained. Be yes, crazy. exactly, just from the day to day. Correct. It wouldn't even be a TV set. You'd be like, "Wow, this is really." Just step back and enjoy the show. Oh my God! I'm gonna you, kick you, you right to- up the asshole. Oh my! I think this before I had kids, I, my sister's like, "Hey, hey, give me, let me drive somewhere. Take kid, take me for a ride." Yeah. So we're driving her somewhere. She goes, "Stop the car! Stop the car!" Okay. Out to uh, beat up a kid. I'm like, "What the hell?" <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna beat up a kid. Yeah, there's some girl that was picking up my niece. And <laughs> she hopped out of the car and started yelling at him. Yeah. Oh my lord. I'll kick your ass! I see you, you cunt. I see you. <laughs> My galoshes. If I could run in these sons of bitches, <laughs> I would. <laughs> She's getting ready to be up like a little 13 year old girl. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. I need okay. to use your car as cover. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I get arrested. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ray Beretta. I got a little like. Beretta with a. Man in a Cavaricci suit. Oh my God! I so many stories. I couldn't. Uh, I could just do a whole show on shit that's happened there. I'd <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, what was that one? Uh, uh, Mystic Sucknut. That was the big show from uh, your sisters. Yeah. So. Oh, that's that's probably one of my favorite shows. That was probably where uh, they we all jumped in the pool and uh, you're you were all just it couldn't. Un- <laughs> You couldn't even believe what I was telling, and you're like, <laughs> "Yeah, well." And your sister was like uh, using the uh, pool vacuum to uh, satisfy her husband or something. Uh, I think my favorite one. You had the best line though, because he was trying to get the vacuum to work, and uh, he's like, "Tell me when this starts sucking," and you're like, "Yeah, about ten minutes ago." <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my favorite. My uh, favorite. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. Nice. Crazy things are from, you know, I'd be at home watching TV. Miles, we shot a deer. Get over here. That's right. Come on over. 
What? We're gonna make some beef sticks or deer sticks out of this thing. Some jerky. Oh. I was with a girl one time, and I was like, "Man, I really want to get with this girl really bad." And the phone rings. It's my sister. It's like, "We gotta move a safe." Yeah, get over here. A gun safe. I'm like, yeah. "Oh, uh, not right now." Ow. I Give just, me like got, three I just got my left hand lubricated. That's all I need. That's right. Just do three minutes. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm already wearing a tank top, so I'm all good on the top. <laughs> I'm sorry you're breaking up. Oh, enough, and I'm just being off. <laughs> so, yeah, well, there you go, then. There you go. Yeah, no, I, uh... Yeah, so, yeah. There you go, and that's uh, the way it was.